Capricorn, it's your turn next. We have a raw and uncut video for you. Let's get into Capricorn's energy. Give Capricorn a general message. What does Capricorn need to know here? So the first card out for you, Capricorn, the Ace of Pentacles here. The Ace of Pentacles is the energy of you connecting to some riches, some wealth here, some new opportunities. Perhaps it's a friendly, cheerful, warm opportunity. Uh, it could be from a person that you know from the past or an idea that you had in the past. Now you're really just ready to seek out this opportunity to its fullest potential. I feel like this energy feels happy. It almost feels like an energy of being youthful. Maybe you're going to do something like um, make things. So it could be like making candles, making um, um, different type of designs, t-shirts or something like that to sell to other people. You probably had this idea in the past and you are really trying to invest in this idea. The King of Wands energy, this is all about you being a boss-like person in this energy. Perhaps you are a person that people are highly attracted to you. You are charismatic. You are loyal. You are the type of person that is driven and a go-getter. So I feel like this energy is definitely positive with you. You are showing yourself in a, a high vibration of being highly driven here. Let's see what else is coming. Ooh. We have the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. So your heart is open to this. You are really putting your heart, soul, and energy into something that you deeply care for. I feel like you have a lot of compassion for whatever you're doing. It's It could be even something that makes you feel loved. You feel better about yourself when you are actually doing this. So it's definitely an idea that you have had and you are ready to be on go with this idea. But you are also taking on a lot because it's new for you. We have the Knight of Swords in your energy. And this is an energy of haste decision making. I feel like you are using your intelligence. I always feel like the Knight of Swords um, represents like a Capricorn's type energy. But of course, we know that this is more so an air sign. But this Knight of Swords is a, a person that has um, intelligence pursuit of excellence, um, ambition, and very assertive about their goals here. I feel like, again, this is a driven type of powerful energy. You see something, you want it, and you're about to go after it. And I love this for you. Knight of Pentacles. So Capricorn energy just showed up to their own reading. This Knight of Pentacles represents determination. A diligent, hard worker here. A person that is building material security I feel like you are highly focused on your achievements here and that is not anything bad here so we have two ace of cups i'm sorry we have two aces and now we have two knights in your energy so if you're connecting with someone um i feel like they're feeding off your energy or you're you're feeding off the other person's energy that you are connecting with this Knight of Swords energy. Okay, so you went after some type of idea. Okay, that's great. And it feels like an energy of some insomnia, some depression. Like this almost feels like you are hesitant or doubting yourself. Like, did you take on too much? Because this is such a big project for you that you are often getting down in how you feel. So the Knight of Swords here, it's like it's... Was this too dangerous for you? Do you really desire this? So again, did you move too fast? There's a lot of intense emotions here. But there is light at the end of the tunnel, I feel like. Let me see. I feel like it's time to rest because you've had a lot of insomnia. Because again, you're starting things from a beginner's perspective. There's a lot going on. You're about your money, about your decision making and your ambition. And then we have here... A knight of swords, uh, nine of swords energy that represents paranoia, pain, burden, um, insomnia, being down on yourself. Let's see. Let's see what comes after this. I'm not too sure. See, there we go. 
Four of Wands is the energy of stability, a happy home front. So I feel like just as you can do at times, Capricorn, you're really stressing out about this, but it's time to release this. This is an opportunity to heal with this Nine of Swords because you are definitely coming toward some stability here. So this is a happy home front, a celebration, joyfulness. All your hard work has paid off. Eight of Cups, you are walking into the light. So you're walking away, you're letting go of things that no longer serve you, things that get you down, and you're walking towards something that makes you very happy, something that's going to make you shine and feel like you're youthful again. Victory! Six of Wands energy is you having public and private success. So if you feel like you've hit a roadblock and you feel paranoid, you feel like you're um, having a lot of grief and, and burden right now, this energy is going to be natural for you, but just know you're going to have victory in the end. Once you let go of an old reality and how things used to be or how they could have been, you're going to reach victory here. It's time to celebrate. I feel like, you know, you just have to release some of this and, and things will definitely be fine. I have the inspiration to put a, another card for you. Yeah, see five of this five of wands. Is, there's something that is knocking you down. But you have all the support you need with the lover's energy. Look, in the King of Cups, I feel like somebody is um, really there for you emotionally. They're holding space for you. Okay, the Three of Wands, the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, the Queen of Wands, the Ace of Swords. <laughs> 